So, here we are, back again with another case video for the 15 Pro Max. However, this is a case that I pick up every year, and I really, really like this case, but I also had a lot of issues with it. So, I'm interested to see if this version is any better this year. So, let's check it out. What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk. So, if you did check out any of my cord lock case videos from last year, and maybe a lot of you did, because those two videos uh, did very, very well on my, ch on my channel, and I got a massive amount of response from it. So for all you guys that watched it, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all your support. But I, every year I have a, I have a gathering of cord lock accessories which I use. I have a gathering of cord lock accessories that I use every year. I have car mounts, bike mounts, I have tripods, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. So I like to get a cord lock case every year. So that's what I've done. So this year I have picked up the mag case. So this one comes with the black ring and again it's if you're familiar with quad lock, it's a quad lock case. There's nothing fancy about it. It's a matte finish case. It's a strong TPU. We have uh, plastic buttons here. So we have the lock, we have the volume up and down and the action button there. We have our mag ring, which is the black version, which can pop out. And with those little holes, you can just pop them out and you can change them out for different colored rings. Uh, we've got a lovely microfiber lining here as well. So it's a it's a very, very well-made case. I've been, a, I've been a big fan of these cases for a lot of years and I still do like them, albeit the MagSafe issues I did have with it last year. So I'm intrigued to check this out. And for completion, and in the interest of science, I do have my 14 Pro Max here with the mag case from last year. And I will be swapping my blue ring over onto my 15 Pro Max. But for now, I will just keep them as is so that I know which one's which. Oh, it's not hard. Black, blue. Easy. So first up, let's just check the weight of this case. So 58 grams for the case this year and for completeness, let's just compare it to the 14 Pro Max version from last year, 57 grams. It's a gram heavier. Interesting. This is quite a, what I would call a rugged case. So it can get quite fingerprinty and stuff, but you know, it's designed to, you know, go out in bikes and fall over and all that there sort of stuff. Uh, guys I used to work with all the time, uh, every year when I get a quad lock case, I would always just throw it up in the air and just let it hit the ground because I was so confident in how good these cases are. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that today though. Don't, let's just check buttons. So yeah, plastic buttons, lovely. Would I like to have seen metal buttons? Maybe. I've used a lot of metal cases with metal buttons over the past while and I'm just spoiled now. So yeah, but they're good, clicky and responsive. No issues there. Uh, the fit is really good. Like if you see there, if I give that phone a twist, that it's well in there, it's secure. It's not coming out. It's not like loose at the corners or anything like that. So it's, it's very, very, it's a very, very good fitment. In the bottom then we have our speaker cutouts here, which are reinforced with plastic, which yeah, weren't like that last year. They were just cutouts. So we've got like a little reinforced plastic bit here, which is really nice. I like that. Also then I think what this doubles up as is a lanyard for the lanyard people. USB-C port cutout as well. So yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. So screen lip. There has always been there has always been a good screen lip on the quad lock case and this is no exception. It's raised up, the set down flap protection, it's not gonna rub, it's not gonna touch anything. It's all well and good. And same goes for the camera. The uh, camera bump there is, uh, the lenses don't protrude out, so you've got good set down protection there. Set it down, it's not gonna rub. And as you can see here, this is one of the cases with a minimal amount of rocking because because this case is a little bit thicker to accommodate the quad lock mechanism, the camera bump then sort of levels it out, you know? So you can see there, it's pretty flat. So there's very, very minimal rock there, which is nice if you like to set your phone down flat and don't like it rocking. It's nice. That matte finish then does make it kind of grippy. It's nice, It's you know you've got a solid 
case in your hand you know it's not going to slip about and all that kind of thing it is a really nice feeling case and i have always liked it and it does hold up quite well after a lot of years like even if you compare it to my 14 pro max version it's pretty battered to be honest but it's it's held up pretty well let's get on to the question at hand magsafe test so yeah i need to get my job i need to use my job i just test the magnet strength on this so frag me yeah well the magnet strength is fantastic it is excellent oh, my rep friggin heck that's really good and just to compare to last year so there's the 14 pro max version and yeah the magnet strength the magnet strength was never an issue for me with this the magnet strength was always fantastic it was just the thickness of the case and the magnetic module just causing issues with wireless charging was my issue with it as i'm sure a lot of people will that commented on my previous videos had this exact same problem so i do have a gathering of magsafe chargers here so i have a pataka magsafe charger here i have an apple battery but I have an Apple battery pack, I have a ESR battery pack, I have an Anchor battery pack. I've got a lot of different brands here, so we can pro properly give this a good testing, I think. So, we'll start off first with the Apple. So, this is the 14 Pro Max. So, last year, the Apple MagSafe battery pack, you would have seen there, it would have connected and come up that it was charging, and then it would just drop, it would just lose the connection, it would just drop it, and I'm just trying to get it to do it here, you see it's going to make a liar out of me now, no, it's still charging, because the Apple battery pack was definitely one of the ones that I had issues with, like it would have charged and then just stopped, just would have cut out, and you would have heard it sort of knocking off and beeping when it kicked back in, yeah, look, see, battery pack is on, see it's not charging, Yeah, there we go. Happy days, I thought I was gonna make a liar out of me there. So 15 Pro Max then. So there we go. Yep, same again, look, same issue. Oh, there it is, it's kicking back in again. Well, so far so good. Have they fixed it? I wonder. I'll sit here as long as I have to. For you guys, I will do it. I will sit here until this drops. If it drops, that'll be awkward. So in the meantime, while that's sitting there on the Apple battery pack, so we'll just put the anchor one on here. Um, so the anchor accessories from my memory, I didn't really have any issues with. They they seem to be consistent and their their wireless charging strength seem to be a lot stronger than the likes of the Apple stuff. So that battery pack is charging without issue. So let's just try this this ESR one. This one has a kickstand as well. So we can set it up. So 15 Pro Max is still going on the Apple battery pack. Let me just maybe try moving it a wee bit, but not break the connection. Just maybe slide that about a wee bit, see if it drops. Because that definitely didn't work on the 14 Pro Max. If you had a little, maybe give it a little bit of movement, it wouldn't have done anything. Well, that ESR one's working on the 14 Pro Max. Oh, no. No, nope, still is. These things are making liars out of me today. Let's just try this Pataka one. So this is a this is a Pataka stand, but this is a battery pack as well. So uh, we'll just try that on there. I love this too. Not not so cool. Keep a look at the channel because I'm going to drop a review on this uh, charging stand because it is so awesome. 
The heck was that? That's the goal. I'm easily amused. Battery pack still going strong. The Apple one on the 15 Pro Max. This stuff is going out of its way to make me look silly today. 14 Pro Max is still going strong on this Pataka stand and the 15 Pro Max is still going strong on this Apple pack. As you can see, the Apple pack is still green, showing that there's power going. It's still showing here is charging. So I have another wee MagSafe stand here. So yeah, so the 14 Pro Max hasn't dropped either. As you can see, it's still charging. So we'll just take that off. And we'll try the 14 Pro Max on this one. Oh yeah, look, there it is, it's dropping. And the 15 Pro Max is still going strong. So what I have noticed here with this sitting on the Apple battery pack, uh, it is indicating that it is charging, but it's been on here for quite a few minutes and the battery percentage has not changed. It's sat at 70 the entire time. So you would have thought there maybe would have been a bit of movement there. Last year on the Apple one, it would have, it would have constantly dropped in and out, whereas this hasn't done that because you would have heard it constantly beeping in and out, which is very strange. So we've tried the MagSafe on the ESR, but we'll just plug in this Apple MagSafe puck and we'll just try this on the 14 Pro Max because I know that was definitely one of the ones that had the issue. And yeah, there you go. You see that? So plugged into that output and that MagSafe puck is not even getting, it's not even registering on the 14 Pro Max. Oh, and if we just pop that case off, yeah, there you go. So it's charging the, the 14 Pro Max now. So, so we'll just put the case back on the 14 Pro Max, pop the MagSafe back on. Yeah, so there's the Apple cable, not registering anything whatsoever. So if we just try that quickly then on the 15 Pro Max. Yeah, it's not working. See that? But yeah, if I take the case off the 15 Pro Max. So the Apple cable is plugged into a outlet and it is charging, no problem. So let's just pop this quickly back into the quad lock case. What's it? Nothing, that's disappointing. But yeah, if I plug onto this MagSafe stand, Yeah, there's just no consistency there whatsoever, which is sad to see. And I know Quadlock do do their own MagSafe charging head, which is their own proprietary Quadlock system with MagSafe, but uh, that's disappointing. I was kind of hoping with the feedback I got last year, definitely a lot of people would have been getting in touch with Quadlock and saying, listen, we're having so many problems with this. How about, you know, you maybe fix it on the, at least fix it on the next version but um, it doesn't look to me like they've really fixed it, to be honest, that sucks. Because it's a shame, because it's a, real, it's a really good case, and the magnet strength is fantastic. Like, like it is really, really good. But, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't trust that on a MagSafe stand at night. You know, if you were to dock it on a stand at night and hope that it would be charged in the morning, you just couldn't rely on it without buying the quad lock version. So one of the issues I had with the 14 Pro Max version of the quad lock case was when I docked it at night onto my stand, it never charged. So I've been using this all day. I have 45% on my phone and uh, I'm gonna dock it on here and we'll let it charge overnight and we'll see what it does in the morning. Fingers crossed it will charge and hopefully the issues have been resolved. So let's find out. See you in the morning. 
It's the next morning, excuse my bedhead. And, and as you can see, I have the phone on my dock and it has dropped in and out of charging all night. So when I went to bed last night, it was at 45%. Uh, if I take this off now, it is currently at 16%. Yeah, so it seems to me that last year where we sort of gave Quadlock a bit of credit to say, listen, it's maybe been a defect on their side, it's maybe been an oversight and they've made it a bit too thick. This year, I think it's clear to see that it's actually a design. It's, it's the way that they want the case to be so that they can push their own accessories and that you don't use your, th your own third party accessories, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. So what about you guys, have you picked up the 15 Pro Max and have you picked up the Cordlock case for it? Uh, let me know down below, it's really disappointing because it's a really good case and those types of things need to be better because you know you can't just you can't just tell customers oh well the way to fix it is to buy our charger, you know, it, that's just, that's not really fair in my opinion so it kind of sucks but let me know down below and if you have picked it up have you been having uh, the same issues as what I had on the 14 Pro Max from last year. Let me know in the comments down below. So yeah guys, that about wraps up this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see more quad lock stuff, I actually have bike kits for mouse and for quad lock. And I'm look currently working on doing a video where I can compare the two out on the out on the road on a bike and that kind of thing. So if, I, if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll make it happen because I really want to um, branch out and do lots of different accessories and things like that. So if it's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. That about wraps it up. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button for me and don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that little bell to be notified of new videos just like this one. Keep it locked guys. I've got a lot more cases and accessories coming for the 15 Pro Max so stay tuned for that. And if you want to see more down to earth tech and accessory videos you know where to come. And until the next one, I'll catch you later.